This is Western Mass News on Fox 6. A Springfield teen is dead following a shooting inside an apartment building over the weekend, raising the city's record murder rate even higher. Welcome to Western Mass News at 10 on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson joining us live in studio with details on this latest homicide. Maria. Chris, as the city mourns yet another young life gone too soon, city leaders are outspoken. Something needs to be done to curtail the troubling issue. Just before midnight on Sunday, Springfield police officers responded to a shooting inside an apartment building on Lionel Benoit Road, the event claiming the life of a 17-year-old boy. Police say 20-year-old Xavier Rivera and 18-year-old Luis Reyes Santiago were in the room with the victim at the time of the shooting. The two young men are now charged with murder and carrying a firearm without a license. There was also a 17-year-old girl who police say was there, but because of her age, they aren't releasing her name or the nature of the charges she's now facing. Another sad uh, day in the city of Springfield, particularly when it comes to young people and the um, epidemic of gun violence and that's uh, hurting Springfield, but throughout this country. Now, city leaders grapple with what can be done to keep the city's streets and youth safe. I'm, I'm extremely concerned. You know, we, we have to get it under control, but the reality is this is the result uh, of 16 years of a lack of investment in our young people and a lack of investment in our neighborhoods. Um, I want our residents to know our city is safe. So we're here to be proactive and coming up with uh, concrete solutions that's gonna be sustainable for our near future. Part of that proactive approach, a focus on prevention education, and getting kids off the streets through the new implementation of the Universal City Pass program. And as the city's record high murder rate continues to climb, city leaders say it will take a village to end the epidemic. We need a comprehensive plan to combat gun violence here in the city of Springfield. And until we have that, uh, we will never resolve this issue. Mayor Dominic Sarno reacting to what he called a, quote, tragic and senseless incident in a statement that reads in part, firearms are not toys and under no circumstances should be treated as such. This is not a movie, TV show or video game where individuals come back in a recurring role. This is real life. Given the age of the suspects at the center of Sunday shooting, State Representative Carlos Gonzalez says part of the city's response must address getting guns out of the hands of young people. It's alarming to have um, young people uh, readily uh, having guns available to them and uh, not having some sense of concern about what a weapon can do uh, to one family but to one community in general. Representative Gonzalez says that he hopes that different community-centered initiatives and approaches will help reduce the stigma around asking for help before it's too late. The suspects in Sunday's murder were arranged today and the investigation remains ongoing. Live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.